Welcome to my One Minute to Wow video tutorial. This is Mary Fish with Stampin' Pretty and StampinPretty.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I sell the products that I'm sharing with you today in my online store. I wanted to tell you about the Season Like Christmas photopolymer stamp set. Photopolymer, photopolymer means that it's clear, translucent, and I love them with clear blocks. Because as you'll see when we're stamping, especially with two-step stamping, it makes lining things up so much easier. But this is about to retire. It's on the Stampin' Up! holiday uh, retirement list uh, through December 21st, I believe. Um, and then it's while supplies last. So this is a stamp set that's fun to use, mass produce, and I think it's something that you'll like to have uh, before it retires. But I wanted to just take some time today to talk to you a little bit about how I do two-step stamping. We have lots of stamp sets that have layering possibilities, and this is one. As you can see on the tree, there's a variety of, there's actually three images combined. There's a solid base that I used in Smoky Slate. Uh, it's a little more, I'll show you that one now. It's a little more of a solid tree. We'll be stamping that in Smoky Slate and then um, a little bit more detail but a little less going on and we'll be stamping that in uh, basic gray you can see how that one's different and then last but not least uh, we'll be stamping the trunk uh, which layers in just perfectly uh, with the other images and that will be in basic gray as well a couple other fun little details before we carry on to the stamping part is this cute piece of designer series paper i literally adhere it to our Whisper White uh, medium envelopes. They match and coordinate with our Whisper White cardstock um, and give a really rich, luxurious look. If you're gonna go to the trouble of making a beautiful card, it is well worth having um, a nice envelope. That's just my little um, editorial there. Um, and this is a piece of designer series paper um, from the Quilted Christmas 6x6 uh, designer series paper stack. It too will be retiring and right now it's only while supplies last. They're not going to continue to produce more like they are for the stamps for a little bit. And I just adhere it to the flap and then I flip it over and then I use my paper snips to carefully navigate uh, the outside of that flap. I just think it adds such a pretty touch and all together I think it looks super. And then um, additionally to crop the sentiment which is also from the Season Like Christmas stamp set. Aren't these sweet? For both inside and outside. I cropped that using my Big Shot and the Stitched Shapes uh, Framelits dies. This is a must-have. That little detail and all the ability you have in nesting, meaning you can crop several sizes of a different shape. These also coordinate with our layering ovals, layering squares, and layering circles dies. So it's pretty amazing the possibilities that you can uh, have with that. And if you can see, it has that sweet, it's actually die cut, but it looks like a little stitch detail. I think it's well worth it. And then just to add a little extra oomph, I used our um, Brights enamel dots to just add some simple ornaments. Um, keep it simple. You don't need to cover this tree with ornaments. And the heart that is also in the Brights enamel shapes, if I can say that. Um, it's great to have them as collection. Of course, everything with Stampin' Up! coordinates, including this real red uh, 1 8 inch solid ribbon. This is gorgeous, and this is actually carrying over, and I'm really glad because it's very easy to work with, and I just adhered that with a little mini glue dot um, is tucked below. So let's get to some stamping. I have my piercing mat. Um, I use a piercing mat, and I set aside some just for stamping um, because uh, they give just a little extra cushion when I'm stamping a little bit more solid uh, stamp or a more solid image. Just that little bit of cushion with the photopolymer I think makes coverage a little bit better. And then I have grid paper which I quarter. This is actually four times this size but I quarter it so that I can protect uh, the, the uh, piercing mat below. And all of these things are available in my uh, Stampin' Up! store. If you go to stampinpretty.com you'll see shop and you should be able to find these items. 
So I'm gonna start out with Smoky Slate. And I'm going to ink this uh, more solid image up. And sometimes I turn it a couple directions on the solid just to make sure I don't have a little dry spot and I can get a nice solid image. And then I have a piece of Whisper White. And we're just going to stamp this about here. Leaving room for the sentiment uh, on the left hand side. Isn't that beautiful? I think it's beautiful right the way it is. But we're going to dress it up and make it look amazing and add a little, literally add some dimension just with texture. And this is basic gray. And now I'm going to take the more detailed design. Again, here's where you can really see the benefit of photopolymer. I just want to make sure I get it inked up well. And even with this, it's sort of a rustic look. So if it's not spot on, it's fine. Now if you'll look through, all the way through, you'll see a few openings on the bottom tree. And I'm going to line it up with those. Let's make sure I get a good transfer. Gorgeous. So now, here are those little openings I was telling you that were my guide, and that's what I'm going to use with the basic gray, making sure I've got basic gray, uh, again, to add the trunk. This is just sort of the last little detail. So I'm going to line up, see how that guy, that's my main guy, lines up with the most open space, and then I'm watching where the trunk is as well, and I'll stamp. Isn't that fantastic? And I, I love to roll with a kind of a modern look. That's just me. So I love the look of the rustic tree, but in the grays with the real red and the whisper white. I just think it's crisp and beautiful. But I had just as much fun doing this with a variety of greens. You could do it with blues, purple if that's your fancy, or even pinks. Whatever works for you. But I just think it's just gorgeous how this all, um, how simple they make creating a beautiful layered image like that is. I hope you, from watching this, um, felt like that was pretty, pretty easy. And how you can make a quick and simple card that you can mass produce, and even add a little pretty um, uh, quilted Christmas paper uh, to your envelope flap for that perfect presentation. And again, one more time, this is the Season Like Christmas stamp set. And it's only available until at least December 21st. And then until the 2nd of January, it's officially retired. And after the 21st, it's while supplies last. So if you like that stamp set, you're going to want to go for it. The tips that I shared with you today on um, multi-layer or two-step stamping will apply to many, many more stamp sets. So happy stamping. And please stop by my blog, stampinpretty.com. I love when you leave comments for me, either on my blog post or on YouTube, and I'll get back in touch with you, whether you comment or have a question within 24 hours, and usually it's more like 10 minutes. So again, thank you, and happy holidays. Bye-bye.